Hey guys, my name is AJ. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be one of my first or like third videos, but um, I haven't done a video in a long time. I kind of didn't really want to do the YouTube thing, but I recently bought a house and I realized that the closet systems in the house were not up to what I wanted them to be. So I have been shopping around looking for a very like not expensive way to get a fancy closet and I'm like well my closet is pretty small it's not even a walk-in it's like it's really small let me show you guys what I'm talking about so this is pretty much how the closet is at this current moment um in the house that I bought and I am not really uh, feeling it. I kind of want something with like drawers. So I have been shopping around. I looked at Home Depot and they had a closet system that you install. It had drawers and all that. But it was almost like going to cost $400 for just the middle column and to hang. And I was just like, that's a lot of money. I want to find a cheaper way. So I was like, you know what? Let me try Ikea. Um, so I looked up Ikea and I found something called the pack system. And the pack system is basically kind of like a closet system that you plan and that you install into your closet. Um, so I'm on my way to Ikea to look up the pack system and get all the pieces. All right, guys, so I have officially left Ikea and I didn't get the pack system. I didn't get the pack system because it would not optimize the 67 inches that I actually have in my closet, which is actually very uneven according to all of the closet systems Ikea actually has. So it was really tricky to add up all the numbers and figure out how I was going to be able to use the most amount of space in my closet. So I ended up getting the so Bow XL system, um, which I saw from a couple of other YouTubers that that was supposed to replace the Aglot system that they had before anyway so the system is basically you install it on your wall kind of like when you go to target and you see um the shelving systems that they have those shelves are adjustable they can make them any height it's pretty much the same thing except you get baskets you get clothing racks you get drying racks you get a bunch of different things and you can not only use it for a closet but you can also use it for a laundry room um a kids playroom any of these kinds of things so all right so while i was at ikea and i was looking for systems you know the store had all these like little packets and stuff like that to help you figure out like all the pieces you need to design all this thing so this is the pamphlet i got from ikea and on you know the first couple of pages it tells you like what it could possibly look like then it tells you all the different pieces they have and the numbers and the price um and then the rest of the pages just basically show you like all the different kinds of possible combinations that you can make um but because the size of my closet is so weird i have to literally figure it out so my tip to anyone trying to use this system is to measure your closet top bottom left right all over measure every part of your closet and then write it out on paper and figure it out on paper first before you go to ikea and um try and figure it out in the store because trying to figure it out just seeing this was like a little hectic but i was able to properly get um all the pieces i need and the good thing about ikea is you have like i think a 365 day return date so if you buy too much you know take it back whenever you have the time all right guys so the first thing i'm going to be doing is installing the suspension rod that goes across the top of it like i said um so this is the suspension rod earlier like i was saying um the suspension rod only come in three sizes. So I was thinking, you know, just buy the long one and cut it. But I actually realized that you can buy the different sizes and piece them together to fit your closet correctly. But I just bought the um, 
71 inch one and I just cut the extra pieces off so that's I got a little hacksaw and just cut the edges and then bent it until it broke off These are the screws I bought um, from Home Depot. According to the Boaxel um, kit, it says that you need flathead screws. It actually, I think, said six or seven millimeters, but Home Depot only sells eight, like six or eight. So I figure go bigger and smaller. All right, so now to hang up the up and the upright wall structure, I'm going to use these screws that I got from Home Depot. Um, the instructions say that they need to be pan headed um, and a size eight, so that's what I got. Um, the length, I just kind of figured I wanted to go that deep into the wall. I wasn't really sure what kind of length to get because it didn't uh, call for it. And I guess I should have got drywall screws, but this is sheet metal but you know I'm no pro we just trying to get this closet up that's it so after so the screws I use um to hang the suspension the screws I used I showed you guys earlier um I got the suspension up now and now I'm going to hang the upright the upright um 71 70 I think it's 71 inches um calls for eight of these screws so the only thing I just made sure was that I had the level um, I got this magnetic level from Home Depot I got it magnetic because this is metal and I'm by myself so it is easier for it to be magnetic and um, to be able to help me know that that is level and that is level that is not where I'm going to screw that one um, but that is kind of where I'm all right so I officially have one section up um, I put the closet up just to make sure that I put this one um, this bar right here in the right spot so now I'm gonna do the 31 inch shelf um, so basically I'm just gonna do the same thing the good thing about this system is that so the cool thing about this system is that you can kind of just hang this bar where you want it the one thing and it'll kind of sit there so that you can Put the level on it and make sure you drill it on um, level. But the one thing I do want to mention is that when you want to go where you put a screw, um, just make sure that either you move the screw or, let me show you, let me bring it up closer. So right up there is where I have a screw. So if I wanted to put this shelf there, it wouldn't go. I would have to move this screw to like this this hole here or not put a screw here at all so once i figure out where my um 31 inch shelf will be which i did put markings on here which is like estimated to be about right here but i haven't been really using them i just been putting the shelf on and making sure that is good before i screw it down so i'm gonna do um and then oh you need two of these so the shelf actually locks into this piece right here um, on one side and then on the other side it will do the same. So I'm just putting this directly at the top, dropping it down, and then I'm assuming that my 31 shelf probably is going to go over here based on my measurements. So these brackets here are different. I'm assuming that this is the back. Let 
that is the back. It has like a little slide feature that when you drop it down and slide it back, then this side fits in there exactly. Please excuse my cat meow. He's having some issues with his life right now. Okay, so we're gonna move this over and whoop. Did not break my face. So I don't actually have to remove any screws, which is a good thing. So now the only thing I have left to do is to level this, level this thing here, and um, that's really it. This shelf um, that's going to go here is an adjustable shelf. This shelf that's going to go take out of my closet. Okay, so my cat just jumped up here. This is Ashlyn. She said hi. So, right here, we have the closet rail, which is just attached by these little things here, like that. Um, which is pretty cool. And then that's my shirt. And I also bought these cool little pants hangers from um, Ross, I think. And so I'll be able to hang my pants there, like my, uh, multiple amounts of pants there. Um, and then I also have some drawers here. No, they don't. They don't really have drawers. They only have baskets. The pack system has drawers, but baskets are fine. I'm just gonna be putting like um socks in them and stuff like that. So I should be all right. And then this section right here is where I'll put the adjustable shelf and the adjustable clothing rack. Um, and in the middle, I'm thinking of putting shoes. I'm not sure. I was gonna put my shoes up there, but I don't know. We'll see. So that's it. That's my closet.